<coughs> okay, I guess when Gordon sent me these plugs and sockets from Skarmy, they're, they're not explosive proof, they're for explosive atmospheres. I think I misread the brief. So what makes this range of Optima ATEX rated sockets and plugs from Skarmy so good? Well, quite honestly, I don't know. In fact, when it comes to explosive atmospheres, the only ones that I can really think of are petrol stations and forecourts. I know that these are explosive atmospheres and you need some kind of special qualification to be able to work in them. Flour mills, although this one might be a bit old fashioned. Docklands and offshore applications. If you're working in the North Sea, then it's likely you're going to be working in explosive atmospheres and environments. So why is it that we can apparently use these sockets and plugs from the Skarmy Optima range in these explosive atmospheres? Well, for that, I'm going to need to seek out somebody who knows what they're talking about. That's why I've come to Humberside Engineering and Training Association. HETA has been going for over 60 years, delivering exceptional training to engineering and electrical apprentices, study programs and standalone training courses. HETA also deliver a training program that electricians can take if they want to work in explosive atmospheres. So it seems like we've come to the right place, but what I really need is that person who really knows what they're talking about. Oh, I love doing that. So I have with me a guy who knows what he's talking about, Graham Smith, who'll hopefully help me understand about the environments that these are going to be going into. Thanks for joining me, Graham. You're welcome. So Graham, first and foremost, what kind of atmospheres are these going to be going into? So this piece of equipment here is uh, certified for both gas atmospheres and for dust atmospheres. So the diff what's the difference between gas and dust? So with regards to gas, you've got uh, different scenarios. We call them zones. Yeah. So you can have a zone zero, one, and two, mm. depending on the amount of gas vapor that could be available. Yeah. And then for dust, we look at the conductivity of the dust. So let's say we had a carbon-based dust, that would be extremely conductive, and your equipment will be rated for that if need be. I might be being silly here, but carbon-based dust, so a pencil factory where... Yes, yeah, and also obviously steel works, uh, wherever you're using the products from steel or anything like that, that could create a dust atmosphere that could ignite. It says it's ATEX rated, but what, what even is that? So ATEX stands for Atmospheres Explosives, so it's the French. And they created a directive in 1994 that stated that all equipment for hazardous areas must be the same, so they could sell throughout Europe. Well, obviously we know, obviously we've got British Standard yes. 7671, You've got Senelec, which is yes. the harmonised standards as well. So does this fall under that kind of Senelec? So this will be rated under the Senelec as well, but it will also be rated on our British standard, which is 60079. So is there just one ATEX rating that covers equipment, or is there like multiple ratings that something might have to have? There's multiple ratings. So for ATEX, they rate between one, two, and three. So uh, one will be equipment that uh, is going to be placed into an area which has a high level yeah. uh, where it could create a spark and explode. Then you'd have category two, where there is still some uh, form of gas atmosphere that could create an explosion or anything like that you've got to protect against. Yeah. And then you'd have level three, where the piece of equipment would have an enhanced protection with regards. So there still could be a gas atmosphere, but there would just be an enhanced protection. So you've had a look at this five pin, three phase socket and plug from Skarmy. I mean, is there anything you like about it or don't like about it? No, it's, it's absolutely excellent piece of equipment. And then everything with regards to it, you can see has got the ratings on it. So this one for ATEX, this one will be classed as a Roman numeral two, which is denotes surface gas, industry surface industry gas. Yeah. yeah. So not mines or dust. And then it's got a number two on it, which means that this piece of equipment is able to go into atmospheres that have got could have a high level or anything like that and then also it's rated for, well it's rated for gas and it's also rated for dust so it's a really good piece of equipment yeah absolutely yeah so is this supposed to survive in an explosion or is this supposed to contain an explosion so with regards to this as well you've got a switching mechanism inside so inside there'll be a piece of equipment that will be rated itself and that piece of equipment will be able to contain any spark created through the switching the energy created by that will not 
ignite the explosive, uh, the, the atmosphere outside. So where are we going to find equipment like this? So equipment like this in the United Kingdom could be used on petrol forecourts. Yeah. It could be used for whatever reason, but more likely the oil and gas industry. So out of the box, how, how can we be satisfied that this is going to be okay going into those atmospheres? So all equipment that required to go into a hazardous area, hazardous atmosphere, must have a certification number. So it should be there on the label, which is on this one on the kit, and then it sh the certificate should come with the item or the certificates are now available on the internet. Graham, thank you so much for helping me out with this today. I'm going to be heading back to my studios now, so I'll see you there. Well, that was a tour de force on explosive atmospheres and what electrical equipment can go in them. And Graham really liked the Skarmy Optima range of ATEX rated plugs and sockets. And now I can really see why. It's incredibly robust with a build quality like I've never seen and some really innovative features as well, including this star formation on the plug and socket. This ensures that only SCARMI connectors and plugs can be connected and does not allow any other manufacturers to connect. This is because the SCARMI Optima connectors and plugs have been tested to the ATEX standard and by plugging in a third party piece of equipment, it may not afford the level of protection required for an explosive atmosphere. We heard Graham talk about how the switching mechanism will contain a spark if switched under load. But what if it's unplugged under load? Well, it's not possible to remove the plug whilst on load. You have to operate the rotary isolator and put it in the open position before unplugging the unit, which is a really neat feature. So if you're working in these explosive atmospheres, then be sure to use these ATEX rated sockets and plugs from the SCARMI Optima range to ensure not only compliance, but the safety of you and everyone else on site. And be sure to check out the video that Gary and Gordon did on the Skarmy industrial plug that had a hidden secret. You should be able to see the link right here.